Hello everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at Rider Kicks figure Legend Rider series Common Rider build. So as we saw with the other Geo figures that we took a look at earlier, they were part of the Rider Armor series and these are the Legend Rider series. So they're all Rider Kicks figure, they're all under the same banner of Rider Kicks figure, but they have kind of two sublines. So it looks like the Legend Rider series is going to be taking a look at obviously past riders that we've had throughout the Heisei era. I'm not sure if they'll go back to Showa or not. I would assume, I would like them at least to do every Heisei rider, but I'll buy as many of these as they want to put out just to have all of the riders in the same scale would be really nice. So we'll take a look at scale and all that kind of stuff as we jump into the figure. But here is the packaging. Very nice, very colorful. Not too much going on the bottom there, but you have a nice picture of build there on the side, that side as well. And then him doing kind of a rider kick there. And then it does show Geo and the build armor are also available, which we've already taken a look at. So that's pretty much it for the packaging. Let's go ahead and get this guy out of the box and we'll take a closer look. All right, so here is build out of the packaging, obviously in the rabbit tank form. I think he looks pretty good. First thing you will notice, head can move from side to side and up and down on a ball joint. And he also has a ab not quite an ab crunch because it can move side to side as well so kind of an ab swivel i think it's just a ball joint in there but that was previously not available with the bottle change rider series because of the way the sides could come apart and change and swap out which is a neat feature but i think for this it makes sense to just have a nice articulated build here uh head looks good all the paint i feel like is where it should be the only thing i feel like is missing i believe the rider change series had the bottles painted and the belt was belt loop was painted yellow. Other than that, I think he hits all the right marks. You have shoulder articulation here, spin around, out to the side. You have a bicep swivel right above the elbow, then you have 90 degrees in the elbow. The hands can spin all the way around and they can actually interchange. We'll get to that in a minute. The ab joint I already showed you. Then you have out to the side and front to back in the hip area. No thigh swivel. You can kind of turn the leg a little bit, just at the hip, um, but no actual thigh swivel. Then you have 90 degrees, actually a little bit more than 90 degrees in the knee, and then a ball joint in the ankle as per usual. So I think he looks good. Uh, as I said before, he does come with two hands. He also comes with this. The drill crusher, I believe this was called. It's been a while. So this is molded in solid blue, and you can just go ahead and put it into his hand. He doesn't have the opening fingers like the other toys used to, but I actually kind of feel like he holds the weapons a little bit better with the normal hand than the opening and closing fingers. I'm kind of surprised they molded it out of blue instead of black. It doesn't really bother me, um, but just thought they would have molded it out of black. You can see very hollow on the other side. But yeah, you can see he holds it very well. The other thing you can do, I'm just going to go ahead and take the hands completely out because he does come with an extra version of each hand. So you can do that kind of iconic pose that was on the front of the box. Let's go ahead and pop out this hand as well. There we go. That one was a little bit more difficult for some reason. But then you just pop the new hands in very simply. Just like that. And you can kind of do that. I'm not very good at posing action figures, I have to admit, but let me look at the box. Okay, so he kind of has this one out. This comes down. Something like that. I'm Again, I'm not very good, but <laughs> that's kind of what the pose looks like. Yeah, I'm not quite sure how they get... They get this up a little higher. Can it bend? Yeah, I guess it can go like that. That's pretty much what they have like that. So I think that's fun. They give the extra hands so he can do that goofy pose that he's known for. It's fun. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put the normal hands back in. And as you can see, it's very simple to just pop out. Except I can't get a hold of this one. There we go. To just pop them out and pop the new ones back in. Very simple. So I like that quite a bit. Geo had hands you could pop out like that as well. I 
All right, now we want to do some size comparisons. Here is the bottle change rider figure for build. So putting them back to back, you can see he comes up to about the base of his head. So he's about a head taller. And you can see here what I was talking about. The bottles are painted and you have a little bit of yellow there for the belt, which he's missing. But otherwise, I think all the same paint applications are there. You have the springs on the rabbit leg. Everything else looks nice. Obviously, this figure cannot come apart. This one can by pressing that button on the back. So I don't know. In my opinion, it's kind of nice to have both because if I want to mix and match the forms, I have this. And if I just want a nice display rider that's nicely articulated, I have this one. Now, obviously, he's a little shorter, but I don't feel like you would need these two to interact. Now, I know a lot of people were hoping later on in the line we're supposed to get a Cross Z and Evolt. And they were hoping that they could interact with the figures they already had. I mean, they can, but they're going to be a little bit shorter. So I can understand how people are a little disappointed by that. But these figures are cheaper. Whereas these used to be somewhere in the area of 25 to 30. These are like 15 to 20. So they are cheaper. Uh, which I feel like if you want to build, if you want to build an army, army build, but you want to collect a ton of these, uh, if they keep making them for all the riders, it's nice that they're a little bit cheaper. Here is Geo in the build armor. You can see that they are pretty much to scale very nicely. So I like that quite a bit. I'm going to get rid of the drill crusher because it's in the way. But yeah, I like the figure. I can understand how people were bummed that these are shorter than the Bottle Change Rider series. But I do think they're considerably cheaper. And I'm kind of thinking the reason they're cheaper is because they are planning on releasing so many of them. If they would go ahead and do every past Heisei Rider or even add some Showa Riders in there as well, it would be nice to get them all in the same size class. So I would really enjoy that. And like I said, at $15 a pop, it's really easy to pick these up. And I think they're nice figures for what you get. I really do. So I hope they continue with them. I'm definitely uh, down or already have pre-ordered the first couple waves of these. Like I said, I think that's going to include X-Aid Level 2, Cross Z, Evil. I think there's the Rabbit Dragon form where they kind of fuse together. And there might be one more. I can't remember. I'm probably just forgetting someone that's really obvious. I think Grease and maybe Rogue as well. I know Grease. I'm not sure if there's a Rogue. Might just be Grease. But anyway, it's very build heavy the first couple waves. And then X8's kind of tossed in at the end. So I would assume they'll keep going and just keep going backwards as he runs into them on the show. So I would love to get a Forze, Fize. Um, who else is coming up? I think Kabuto. I mean, really, I just, I'd love to get all the Heisei Riders, and beyond if they're willing to make them. Just to have a nice collection of all these nice articulated figures. Fairly cheap, but they work. Painted nicely, nicely articulated, and all in the same size class. Would be make a really nice display, so I would really enjoy that. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for this one. Bring the box back in. See, I tried to get the pose right. I wasn't quite good, but... I think it's fun, like I said. For what you're paying, you get the two extra hands... You get the weapon accessory, nice articulation, nice paint. I think these are worth picking up. I understand the disappointment with the size difference, but now that they've committed to this size class, you know, it, I mean, it's kind of what Bandai does, right? They had us buy a bunch of Power Ranger figures, and then they said, no, we're making a new size class, but this time you're going to get everybody. So I'll just fall for it again. That's what I always do. <laughs> I feel like this actually has a chance of happening because Japan usually follows through for the most part. Um... Plus, we have, like, a, a dedicated year to release these, and, you know, Bandai was kind of pie in the sky, Bandai America, with those legacy figures. But, again, nice figure. I'm beating a dead horse here, but I recommend it. Good price, good articulation, good paint. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and as always, thank you so much for watching.